I was watching an interview of a man called Chinua Achebe, who was one of the most popular writers in the world. When asked about what he was thinking when he wrote his famous book about 60 years ago, Chinua Achebe said, Well, there was no way I could have known the book would be popular. In the year 2008, Kelvin Kelly wrote a blog post to talk about 1,000 true fans. The blog post went viral, led Kelly to fame, a book about that title, and more money. Years later, when he was asked whether he knew that the blog post he was creating would have such a result when creating it, his answer was simple. Nobody could have known. Look around you and see several successful businesses. Look at the great work of art. Look at wonderful and popular music. Their creators may be perceived as geniuses, but they all have one thing in common. They never knew their work would become what it became. They only tried. So, let's get to where we're going. What is the best business idea in the next 365 days? The best business idea for the next one year is the idea that you smartly and persistently act upon. It's not the kind of answer you want. Don't leave this video yet. Give me a moment to explain a few things. The richest place in the world. When I was around 17, I came across one of Miles Monroe's books. I think the book is about how you can discover your potential. And there is a statement that stuck with me. I think it was from that book. It goes something like, The richest place on the planet Earth is the graveyard, because it is here that you'll find all the hopes and dreams that were never fulfilled, the books that were never written, the songs that were never sung, the inventions that were never shared, the cures that were never discovered, all because someone was too afraid to take that first step, keep with the problem, or determined to carry out their dream. As you look at the new year, wonder what might be the best business idea for you this next one year, the answer is very simple. Nobody knows until they try. Nobody knows until they step out. Nobody knows until they take action. You see, I have many friends who have many lofty dreams like myself when we were young. Today, I'm 33. And when I look back to see all these people who we started together, I wonder why they remain almost at the same point. But the reason is very simple. No, it's not a lack of ideas. Everyone gets ideas all the time. It's not even a lack of ambition. Most people are ambitious. If you think it's because people are lazy, then I'll tell you most adults I know are not lazy. Then what? Well, self-doubt and fear. Because people doubt their capacity and allow fear to rule their lives, they often look for a business idea that guarantees success. That seems to make sense until you get to know that no business idea guarantees success. Most successful businesses you see around today were the result of an accident the accident that happened when you are in the bush looking for the road, then you suddenly find some gold. As you look forward to achieving some successes in the new year, what I advocate is actions, massive actions. Then someone would ask me, but what if I don't know what to act upon? When I was starting as an entrepreneur in July 2008, I didn't know any special thing to act upon either. The only thing I did know was that I would do something about my dreams. My decision was so silly that my first business failed in just three working days. But one thing about courage is that even if it leads you to failure, it often shows you how to take the next step after that failure. So I found a way to stand up and try again, then again, and again for the eight years that followed that day, before I then got my first breakthrough as an entrepreneur. That's why Johann Wolfgang von Goethe said what you can do or dream you can begin it boldness has genius power and magic in it whatever you dream of doing start it whatever you desire to achieve start pursuing it whatever you think you can do start now because courage has genius power and magic in it another problem i see with people is that even when they decide to take action it only takes about three failures to get them back to their pessimist state what most of these people don't know is that massive failure is in the blood that fuels success. Last year, I listened to the audio version of Henry Ford's autobiography. Well, if today you think about Ford, an average man thinks that guy that made automobiles accessible to the world. Yes, that was what Ford did. But the story behind that title is what everyone should pay attention to. Because it's the story about boldness, actions, failures, 
and persistence. Ford didn't just wake up a day and build a better automobile the next day. He started, got an investor, lost all their money. He got rejected and dejected. He made some costly mistakes and risked his very life. To add insult to his injuries, some people were telling him that nobody needs an automobile. Give us a faster horse, some say. Looking back today to see how automobiles have changed the world, it's easier to think that Ford was a genius, but he wasn't. Ford didn't have any smart idea that guaranteed success. He simply tried and he could as well failed if the market rejected his product, which happens all the time, even to the well-conceived ideas. Ford's and Think About Segway, invented by Dean Kamen and introduced to the market in the year 2001. Like Ford, Kamen was enthusiastic the team behind Segway were convinced that their product will kill automobiles the way automobiles killed horses. They projected that the company would sell 50,000 to 100,000 units in the first 13 months and 40,000 annual unit sales. Five years after the company had launched, it only sold 23,500 units of its product. It took more than $100 million to invent and market Segway, but it was an epic failure. There's even more to the story, and that is, the company was backed by some of the smartest individuals in the world. According to what I read, Steve Jobs, Jeff Bezos, and guys like that invested in this company because they believed it had a great future. How can such a company fail? How can those smart guys not see that it will fail? How can Henry Ford succeed even though he had no formal education? Well, don't forget what I've been telling you all through this video. Nobody knows what a great idea looks like. No writer knows what book the market would read and share. No inventor knows the product that will be accepted by everyone. No entrepreneur knows for certain the ideas that would make a billion dollars. The people who seem to have lucrative business ideas are the people who try. They are the people who take actions. And they are the people who change their strategies when they fail. So, you want a profitable business idea that can make you a million dollars? You can't know what it is from your living room. To discover such an idea, you have to get to the bush and keep on trying all kinds of stuff. It's by action we discover gold. Someone would say, but this is very difficult to do. Yes, and that's why we want to help you by sharing with you the inspirational videos that will challenge and inspire you every day of your life till you achieve your goal.